diagram A, B, C, D. This, this line here is parallel to EFG, where well, it's got a line, an arrow on it to show it's parallel. Uh, it says the angles, this one's 55 degrees, that one's 120 degrees. Complete the sentence with a reason. Uh, X equals 55, that's true, because it's this one. I make the noise, I don't know why I do, but I just do. And that is, it goes from one side to the other, that is an alternate angle. Uh, it's hardly a sentence. Alternate angle. To be fair, alternate is the word they're looking for. Uh, it is. Work out why. So I go work out this one. There are several ways of doing this. I think I'll probably work out the size of this angle here first. And that's a straight line. And so that angle there is 60 degrees. It doesn't have to give angle reasons. So that's 60 degrees. And now I've got a triangle. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I'm going to do 60 plus 55. And that equals 115. And then y will equal 180. Take away that 115. And that equals 65 degrees. That's B. And now, that's A rather. Uh, and now B, angle is measured as 27 degrees, correct to the nearest degree. What's the smallest it could be? Well, it can't be much smaller than that, it's got to be to 27 degrees. It could be 26.5, because that would round up. 26.4, if you measured at 26.4, that would round down to 26, so it can't possibly be 26.4. 26.5, it would round up. It's the first angle which would round up in terms of size and so we've got 26.5 and that's the answer that is 17.